Ben and Emily, the defense in this case points out there is no murder weapon, no DNA implicating the defendant. Even so, the prosecution has started presenting other evidence, including handwritten and electronic messages, in addition to testimony about a possible motive in this case. He became jealous of me and being friends. Former girlfriends testifying for the prosecution portray accused killer Matthew Borges as a possessive young man, jealous of Lee Manuel Valoria Paulino, whose body was found in December 2016 on the banks of the Merrimack River in Lawrence. Lee's head had been cut off and his hands had been cut off. In the opening statement this morning, the prosecutor so quoted the a note entry. that Borges wrote in this journal saying it, it targets Paulino. Go chill with him at his crib alone. Drink, smoke, and play it off. Kill him. Bring duffel bag, wear gloves, clean up mess, wear bags on shoes, wear clothes you don't care about. The defense says there's no conclusive proof that the then 15-year-old Borges killed his 16-year-old friend. And they say there's a reason why Borges didn't try to get rid of that journal. It shows that he does not have any consciousness of guilt about that note because it doesn't apply to what ever happened to Lee. He didn't do it. Matthew Borges sent a voice note to a friend saying that his eyes would soon become dark. That was the day before Lee Paulino disappeared.